and welcome back to the cove with more FTL. We are in sector 2 and we already have shields with an almost entirely intact ship. This is going rather well, so let's see just how well we can do today and hopefully uh, maintain our current position. So let's go ahead and see what is in store for this sector. This is pirate controlled, so we do need to be careful. Hopefully we can maybe find some extra crew member to save or rescue, you know, all those ones. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and dive on in. Let's jump to the next sector and see what we've got. Okay, there appear to be a number of small stations nearby. Before you have a time to scan them, warnings go off. A rebel transporter was used in one of the stations. You've been boarded. All right, well, uh, looks like they are in our sensor suite. So let's go ahead and move them over there. Uh, there's also someone in the medical bay. So let's go ahead and you know what? Let's power that up and do a little bit of fighting. I thought I selected everybody, but I guess I did not. Uh, yeah, there we go. So you can fight you guys. That'll be fine. Nothing gets damaged, so we should be safe. Uh, if we need to, we can always tag out some of these other ones. Let's go. You can dodge over here for a second. And uh, Liam, you can go ahead and move into the other room. Alright, uh, let's quickly send Grizzly as well. Or Grizzly. Yeah, you can go ahead and get some healing. We should be able to manage for a second. Yeah, we should be able to outpace this fairly well. All right, fantastic. And then just to make sure, let's uh, make sure that he has two people to deal with. And now everyone can get healed. Okay, fantastic. So no real damage done. Yeah, very fortunate for us that they landed mainly in the uh, medical bay in, in that sector. Yeah, able to, uh, able to heal people while fighting is always a very nice skill to have. Uh, let's go ahead and put power back towards our cloaking and here comes the question do we want to upgrade anything yet well we could potentially go ahead and upgrade our cloak that wouldn't be a bad idea extra power into the reactor that wouldn't be bad either uh we have what have we got over here an asteroid field well you know what there's a ship there to be taken to take out yeah you know what? let's go ahead and do that Let's go ahead and jump over there. I think we can hold off on the on the upgrades for this very moment. I think we'll be all right. Uh, we have, what is that, a 20% chance to dodge? I think it's not terrible. Let's go ahead and jump over. All right, let's see what we can do here. A pirate ship was lying in wait inside the asteroid field. It immediately moves to attack. All right, well, they have uh, a teleporter, so we're going to have some fisticuffs on our hands uh i think what we do though is right before they land let's go ahead and i think oh you know what they have a beam weapon they don't have anything else okay you know what we're going to be relatively safe assuming our shields don't go down yeah so the question is do we want to go ahead and cloak now and avoid him jumping on board no i think we I think we wait for an asteroid to come by. Yeah, so let's figure out where he's landing. Oh, back in the engines. All right, let's send our weapons guy over there too. Let's make sure that we deal with him. Okay, and... You know what? I think at this point... Uh, what do we do? Do we just... Yeah, let's just hit the cloaking button. We'll use this as much as possible. Oh, we did dodge that uh, asteroid. Yeah, make sure that those shields don't get to do too much. Let's get our get our lasers targeting the the weapons. Make sure that that beam doesn't do any damage to us unnecessarily. The mini beam is now up and active, so let's cut across. Now what? let's go through their shields, their engines, their bridge, and back to their weapons again. There we go, that'll do some solar damage. Alright, and we've set the thing on fire. Fantastic. They're going to have a very hard time trying to uh, deal with this. Everybody, battle stations. We should be fine from the asteroids. They can't hurt us. Yep, let's just level everything we've got. Let's make sure those shields do not get activated once again. And it looks like 
Oh, they have sent us a message. Take everything we have and let's both forget this happened. Uh, you know what, six fuel is rather nice, but we're here for the scrap. Sorry, you just, uh, yeah, you made some poor decisions today. Go ahead and get that beam ready. They've got nothing for them. They're going to get annihilated. There we have it. 24 scrap and 3 fuel. Definitely glad we did not take that offer of theirs. That would not have been ideal. Oh, let's also turn on our medbay. Keep our shields up and running so we're not going to take any excess damage. Asteroids don't fly by so rapidly that we're going to get hit. So that should be all well and good. Go ahead and put power back over there and let's see what's next. Another possible position, a nebula. Disrupting our sensors. Uh, I don't know, there could be a lot to uh, see in this sector. But you know what, it's probably going to take the rebels a little bit to catch up to us. So you know what, let's just go for the fight. Although before we do, I think... Oh wait, we can't upgrade our ship. Never mind then. Let's just go ahead and jump. Alright, a rebel ship moves to engage. You attempt to open communications, but realize the futility when you see it is run by AI. Alright, well, fair play on their end. Uh, let's go ahead and put a little bit of extra power towards our engines just for now. They could do a little bit of damage. We'll let them charge up. Hopefully they've only got level 1 targeting. That should hit our shields, and then let's go ahead and dodge. 85% is fairly solid. Let's get our dual lasers targeting their... Go for their weapon systems. They don't have shields, so it's just a matter of taking out that laser cannon of theirs. Let's go for the cloak. Uh, let's go ahead and... Wait a second. Cloaking engines and the bridge. There we are. That should do a solid amount of damage. Yeah, anything else at this point is now completely inconsequential. And there we have it. 24 scrap, two fuel, a drone piece. That is very, very nice. Alright, let's make sure we get a little bit of oxygen up and running again. We don't want to run out of that. It's pretty bad in space. So let's see, what have we got? I think we're going to have to go ahead and go back into the nebula. I don't know if there's going to be any extra trouble, so we'll wait for our oxygen to improve a bit. Uh, we could save up our scrap to hopefully find a store. Although a little bit of extra reactor power wouldn't be bad either. You know what? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. That's worth 40. We'll finish off this bar. That way, if for some reason we do something nice for someone and they try and help us out with our reactor, we'll get the most value for scrap possible. This also gives us a solid amount of evasion. Yeah, I think that is definitely the way we wish to go. So, yeah, let's go ahead and jump to the next spot. What is in the nebula? A pirate ship arrives shortly after you. Judging from the fact that it is attempting to avoid your ship, you assume it's a smuggler trying to stay away from beacons. Well then, piracy, that's no good. Let's go ahead and attack them and see if they've got some goods for us. You power up your weapons and move in to engage. Alright, two laser weapons that should be firing in simultaneous uh, fire patterns. Sounds fantastic. Make the most of our cloaking, so we shall go ahead and do that. Let's get our dual lasers and we will target their weapon system. One solid shot there. Let's follow that through with the mini beam. We'll cut through those three rooms. And now they are out of weapons. So let's save up for another salvo. And I think we target their engines. Oh, sorry, their shield generator this time. Alright, sold amount of damage here. Let's cut across there. And it looks like they're about to be taken out. Looks like they don't want to fight and are trying to escape. And not anymore. Yep, they made the decision way too late. The ship appears to have been transporting prisoners. Unfortunately, they were killed in the battle. You salvage what you can. Oh well, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and uh, take on the next vessel. Luckily for us, it seems like this nebula is paying off quite nicely. So that should mean we can, uh, yeah, we can visit a few more jump points. 
an especially well-armed pirate ship approaches you. Hand over one of your crew members and the rest can go free. Yeah, I'm sorry, but that's not happening. Uh, we will never surrender one of our crew to slavers. Yes. Alright, so one shot is going to hit our shields. The other one is going to try to teleport. Uh, that's not really a bother to us. Let's go ahead and go dual lasers at their weapon systems first and foremost. Let's see if we can take that offline. Alright, it's about to teleport, so let's go ahead and dodge. And it now misses us accordingly, thank you. Uh, I think what we'll do is we will follow up with... Uh, let's go ahead and take out... No, let's just go for their shields and do as much damage as possible. Alright, we took out their shield, that is very nice. Let's get the mini beam cutting through their engines as well. Let's make sure that we cut them down to size. I don't think they'll get a full charge out, so let's just go ahead and focus on... Well, you know what? I don't think it really matters. Let's just aim for the bridge and see what we can do. Hopefully we can avoid any extra trouble. I don't think... Yeah, I don't think I'll get that extra shot off. All right then, the slave ship is destroyed. They won't continue their evil trade, but the lives were probably lost on the ship. Well, you know, had they have tried to negotiate handing us someone and we could have freed them from slavery, we absolutely would have. But unfortunately, uh, yeah, we weren't going to help them profit off their trade. So, let's go. I think we're going to go over here just to have more options on the next jump. Try and survey as much of this sector as possible. Uh, so let's see. As soon as you arrive, a small ship decloaks behind yours. You immediately power up the shields and weapons, but they continue on their trajectory unimpressed. You try to calm your nerves. Huh. Okay, so I guess they were just fearful of us. Alright, well, what do we do? Asteroid field, another distress beacon. Well, you know what? That distress beacon might be good for us if that's a quest. And I kind of want to visit as much as possible, so... We technically could jump from here down to there. That'd be one jump. That'd take them to about here. Two jumps. It's going to be awfully tight if we do go ahead and take that extra fight. So you know what? We're just going to go ahead and jump to the Distress Beacon. And then we'll make our way around through the rest of things. Yeah, the only way we can get to the beacon is through this jump, so we have to end up somewhere around there. So best figure out where we need to travel to first. You have encountered a refugee ship drifting in space. It looks as if it was fleeing rebel advance and ran out of fuel. This distress beacon is active, you're not sure anyone is on board. Alright then, well let's hail. Uh, the vessel is relieved to hear from you. They are running low on supplies and suggest a trade. Uh, we gain 8 fuel and lose 2 drone parts. You know what, that is perfectly fine by me. Let's go ahead and do just that. That is, yeah, that is very nice. That's a solid amount of fuel. Oh, and there's a store. Alright, well then, you know what? Uh, from here, uh, you know what, we should have gone over here first, I guess. Um, we can probably make one jump before visiting the store. So, unfortunately, I don't think that there's too much we can do. We'll have to double back through known territory. So I think we just go ahead and visit the store, then we pick up some scrap along the way and see if we can get to this other one. But for now, let's just see what is available. Who knows, maybe we could sell something off. Detect a hub of activity nearby. A large corporation has set up a trade depot and has a number of well-armed ships patrolling. This appears to be a relatively safe space. Uh, safe place to get repairs. Alright, so what have we got? FTL jammer, weapons reloader, stealth weapons. Huh. Uh, well, we already kind of feel like we sort of have the stealth weapons augmentation. I think that's a special quality of our ship. So I'm not sure that's really an important thing. The automated reloader is also nice. Drone control could be nice. Uh, the repair drone I'm not as thrilled about. But you never know. What's on page two? Ooh. New crew members. Hmm. Okay, so... If we picked up Enzo Martin, we could gain a Mantis, who has an extra half, an extra 50% damage in combat, 
a little bit of extra move speed and their halves their repair speed is halved or we just go ahead with Aisha and uh, our skills improve slightly faster well neither one of them have any particular skills but we don't have anyone manning the shields I think realistically uh Maybe we go ahead and uh, set them up there. Yes, yeah, so that'll take us down to 50 remaining. Do we have anything else? We could go for the reloader. The reloader wouldn't be terrible. We have the enough room for it. Yeah, you know what? Maybe we go for the reloader for now. Oh. Yeah, I think the reloader will do nicely. And then we'll also go ahead and pick up... You know what? Maybe we just go for the Aisha for so we can get our skills upgraded faster. Yeah, it takes us a fairly long time. Yeah, and realistically, we have more people than what we need. So let's go with a fourth. Although, actually, never mind. I take that back. I was about to say a fourth human wouldn't be bad. But then I realized if we have more alien races, we're more likely to be able to have better effects in some events. So I guess we will still pay for Enzo. All right, we'll pick up you. And then uh, that will suffice for today. Let's send you over to our shields. Uh, actually, hang on a second. Who? Our weapon guy. Yeah, he's already pretty well set towards those. So, yeah, we're not going to go ahead and swap them over. If he wasn't at the second tier already, we'd probably go ahead and swap them about because I know they get some extra experience for weapons. So, oh well, it is what it is. Uh, let's just double check can't spend 11 scrap on our ship so let's just jump to the asteroid i dare say yeah that's what we'll do all right what have we got a pirate ship was lying in wait inside the asteroid field it immediately moves in to attack well unlucky for you we've got some very solid weaponry uh yeah we can make the most of these asteroids you definitely can't we're gonna go ahead and Let's go dual lasers. Let's focus on their weapon systems. Let's go mini beam and cut through those as well. There we are. We have already completely uh, annihilated their weapon ability. I think we'll go ahead and let's get the dual laser firing at their shields. And it looks like, oh, yeah, you are considerably more well armed than I would have thought. We surrender. Yeah, no. Doesn't quite work like that there, buddy. Uh, let's see. You know what? We can actually get the kill right now, so let's just go ahead and do that. There we have it. A solid victory. The ship explodes, leaving behind one missile, a drone part, and 25 scrap for us. Fantastic. Well, let's just wait for our, uh, our jump drive to charge, and so... Oh, there was another store. Oh, oh. Alright, well, you know what? We're not going to make it down there in time. Let's just go ahead and engage here. The other store's not really worth checking out at this point. We don't have enough cash on hand to make the most of it. Oh, and I apparently did not pay attention to this and thought it was an asteroid. My bad. This beacon has been placed too close to a super giant class X star. The ship will gradually overheat until you get out of there, or die. A pirate, apparently oblivious to the dangers of the sun, moves in to engage. Well, good news for us, we have some pretty solid weaponry. Uh, that ion shot can target us fairly easy, we can probably dodge this other one. Let's go ahead and go with the dual lasers, let's target the... Yeah, we're going to target their shields and just take that down as fast as possible. And then, let's hit that cloak. Alright, and now we can cut through one side to the other. Alright, there goes their shields, their weapons. Yeah, we're not really too bothered now. Let's just go ahead and get that dual laser auto firing. Let's target the... No, let's just target their weapons for now. The mini beam, we can cut across their bridge. Yeah, I don't see them being able to hit repair out of this very quickly. This should be very fast for us to get out of here. And apparently it wants to do the same thing too. It appears to be powering up its FTL. It's trying to escape. Well, that is nice for them, but I don't think it's going to work. They send you a message. Your ship is surprisingly well equipped. Please take this and let us live. Ah, uh, well, you know what? Right now, we don't really need the missiles. I want the scrap. We will not surrender. They're down to one hit point. 
they're not going to even get their shields up and running again. All right, so now all that we have to do is try and get out of here before our before our ship catches fire. The ship explodes, leaving behind a collection of material. Okay, let's go ahead and jump, and we can get out of here before we have to worry about that sun. And it looks like we have no choice but to go through here, so... Yeah, I would have preferred to explore a little bit more, but you know what? You do with what you've got. Did we avoid that solar flare? Oh no, apparently you arrived to find yourself extremely close to a star. You receive a message from a pirate ship. I'm glad you arrived. Our ship is damaged and we were getting desperate. I hope you don't mind if we take yours. Our stars detected on board your ship. Okay, where are they? Four of them. Okay, this is going to be an all hands on deck. Um, yeah, this is going to be a bit of a problem. We need you to pilot if we're going to be able to get out of here. Let's send... Let's send our Mantis and the rest of our crew. We're going to send you two over here. Yeah, I guess they're going to... Oh, they're going to be making their way over there. Let's send three out of the four. Hopefully our Mantis is going to be able to do a good amount of damage. Yeah, we don't have a whole heap of health. We may need to get our Mantis out of there for a second. Actually, how much health does our Mantis have? A hundred? Okay, the same as us. Okay. It's not the end of the world. Um, you know what? We're going to quickly spend... We're going to disable one of our weapons and turn on the medbay. We're going to need to get healing happening fairly quick. I want to jump before the... before the star causes us problems. I know we'll have to deal with it on the other side, but it's better than not. All right, Martin, we're going to try and keep you in there for as long as we can. Let's get you out of there for a second. Uh, yeah, we still have an extra little bit of trouble there. All right, uh, heal up as fast as we can. Let's go ahead and jump. I don't think we have much of a choice. Yeah, we're going to make our way towards the exit beacon and deal with the rest there, but I don't want to have to deal with the burning ship as well. So it just is what it is. Oh, wait, this still counts as time. Oh, dear, this is bad. You've arrived at the Long Range Beacon. When the FTL is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Uh, you spot a small rebel ship nearby. It seems to have been refitted for transport rather than combat. It does not seem to want to engage your ship. All right, you know what? Let's uh, demand the surrender of their goods. I think that'll be fine. And you prepare to secure it by force. Okay, well, uh, not ideal. Looks like they don't want to fight and are trying to escape. All right, uh, let's get these two to the med bay. That needs to happen as soon as possible. Let's go ahead and we're going to need to divert power from our engines to weapons yet again. Let's go. We'll save our cloaking for a second. We need to keep you here. Uh, yeah, we'll take we'll take a full heal if possible. Now it looks like they're destroying our cloaking, so that's not wonderful, but it is what it is. Uh, all four of them are in there. I think what we do at this point then is... Hmm. They're going to take out our shielding. That's going to be very bad for us. You know what? We'll let them make a little bit of progress. You know what? It just may happen this way. Uh, I think what we do at this point then is... I really don't know what to do. Um, I send him in there, we'll try and do some damage, try and heal up as best as we can, yeah, just it's gonna be rather awkward, we can't dodge all of this so this is troublesome, we have one shield for the second but that drone of theirs is gonna be very problematic, in fact you know what, we're just gonna try and get everybody in on this fight. We need to handle this as fast as possible. Let's send in the other two as well. If we can start to outnumber them, that's going to be good for us. Let's get our dual lasers focused on their weapon systems. Come on. Uh, let's go ahead and cut through there. There we are. We can do their weapons, their shields, and their drones. That's going to be very important. Martin looks like he's almost very poorly beaten up. Let's quickly get him back to health. All right, and the numbers are turning in our favor. I think we quickly send him back in. This should make quicker work. 
weapon skills are going up. Uh, let's see. Enemy FTL has been delayed. That's okay. Yeah, engines are on fire. That is not ideal, but it is what it is. Um... Alright, it looks like there's only two of them left. Let's quickly get both of them to the med bay. Uh, this is going to be... Yeah, two on one. That's not too bad. Alright, come on quickly, quickly now. Uh, repairing isn't needed for our shields, thank goodness. Let's quickly go... Where's our pilot? Rosalie, we need to get you back over there. Uh, Liam, where do you normally go? You are our weapons fellow. Yeah, I think we send you over here and you two. Let's go ahead and get the cloaking bay up on the running. Although, actually, never mind. The engines are about to catch fire and completely tank us. Um, save the engines if you can. We need to get that up and running as fast as possible. Uh, Rosalie, I thought we spoke with you. We need to get... Wait a second. Who are you then? Oh, Raffin. Whoopsie daisies. You're meant to be over here. All right. Well, my bad. Uh, Rosalie, yes. Go over there. Uh, Martin, you might be in a little bit of trouble. Oh, in fact, you know what? You're in a lot of trouble as far as your health is concerned. Let's get you out of there. I think we're going to have to vent some atmosphere for all of this to function well. Yeah. Uh, let's go over there. Rosalie, you go back over here. Yeah, okay, we may have bitten off a little bit more than we can chew right now, but you know what? If we can get this cloaking up and running, that's going to give us a solid uh, way out of this. Uh, let's get that dual laser going on... You know what? Let's focus on their shields right now. They don't have any weapons, so this is going to be the biggest problem. Yeah. We still have shields, so that drone of theirs isn't going to be too much of an issue. Uh, let's turn off the auto fire for the mini beam. We'll go dual races again on the shields. Make sure that that goes down. Come on, we need to make progress. All right, excellent. And now we can cut through the remainder, and that should be a victory. Okay, that was a rough fight. We only lost two health though, and we didn't lose any crew members. So all things considered, we're okay. You detect faint life signatures from the intact piece of the hull. They were transporting prisoners, and the sole survivor offers to join your crew as a first step on their path to get revenge. Well then, welcome aboard Maxwell. We will happily take you on board. Uh, let's make sure before things get too dangerous, everybody gets a little bit of healing. Uh, let's make sure that they don't go through bad territory. We're just going to micro that right there. We definitely don't want to have trouble. Let's go ahead and open internal doors. All right, so that's not bad. Let's go. Let's see. Maxwell, where do we want to put you? No, I think we'll station you in the sensor bay for now. Yeah. And then, you know what? Uh, do we get some extra heal, uh, extra repair on you as well? So you can go back to the main deck. Uh, yeah, your repair speed isn't amazing, so we're not going to try and level you up there. I think Liam and Raffin... Yeah, both of you can have some repair skill. I think that that would be uh, worthwhile in advancing for both of you. Yeah, we'll definitely need that for both of your, both of your positions. Alright, well the good news is we didn't run out of oxygen, we didn't lose any of our crew members, everybody's now at full health, we're a little bit stronger. Yeah, again, we only took two damage in that whole thing, so it could have been a whole stack worse. Yeah, that could have been so much worse than what it was. Alright, so I think that's pretty good. Everybody go back to where your station is set. Let's close all the interior doors. Let's go ahead and save these positions as well. Make sure that our NG is uh, yeah, able to help. And then let's go ahead and... Actually, you know what? Hang on a second. Maybe we put our NG... Yeah, you know what? I take this back. We're going to send our NG to be our shield main. We're going to go ahead and use you as security so you can race around and do as 
much damage as possible to any intruders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is definitely the way we do this. And it also means that our shields come back up a little bit faster since you have double our repair speed. So, here comes the question. Do we jump to the next sector? I think that's probably a yes. We can go ahead and upgrade maybe a little bit. Uh, let's see. We could go for some cloaking. That wouldn't be bad. Some extra shields. That wouldn't be bad either. Yeah, but you know what? Who knows? Maybe there's a store on the other side with a really good crew member that we want. So let's just jump to the next sector. And I think we're going to go with the rock controlled world. I think that should be fine. Yeah, we're handling these battles fairly well. And I think we're getting better and better equipped. So let us see. The rock people are a powerful and proud race. It is not unheard to have a peaceful journey through their lands. But don't count on it. Alright, so we have been warned, but I reckon this should be a good spot to call it for today, so if you do want to see more, be sure to hit that subscribe button, it is the best way to catch all future content, and I'll see you next time. So until then, thank you for tuning in to the Leviathan Cove, this is the Leviathan, signing out.